Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to my video about easy Christmas table decor. I hope you will learn some tips and try this project on your own in your home. Okay you guys, since you actually have requested a video, I'm gonna jump in on an in progress video for this quick DIY tablescape. So what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna start with an empty hurricane, just cleaned it up, made sure that you know it's actually sparkly and shiny. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small balls and I'm going to distribute them around the bottom evenly. And what I've done here is just place the balls in with the actual ornament side down that hooks onto the tree. You want those to be pointed down and that is just going to give your smaller decorations or your smaller balls that you'll use a little bit more height. And don't be afraid to actually get in there and make sure that you're pushing down those little pieces, okay? Because you want them to look just like this right here. Okay, so what I have left here now are the balls we talked about. And now I am just showing you how I've split everything up into sections. Sometimes I use my little um, lights here, little twinkle lights. But for this one, I don't think I'm going to specifically because you have to hide the battery pack. So we'll see. All right, so now what I'm going to do is enter um, the next bigger items. So probably going to start with the pine cones and the silver and gold balls and then go to the silver balls here and then the next ones right here. I've already went and added the silver and gold balls and now I'm getting ready to add the silver balls with the beaded chain. And all I've done here with this one is just alternate the location of them and actually just put them on top. So now everything's starting to stack up. A couple have fallen over and I'm gonna pick those up, but you wanna alternate where you put them. So the silver balls go here, the next ones will go in between this area. Now we've gotten them stacked up a little bit more to where we have some room before we start working with our big ones. I've gone and grouped them based off of their color because it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver them around based off of that inside of your hurricane. I've already gone through and stacked my glitters and my mats in this one. And all of the glitters in this one, except for the white. And then we've got the shinies that are left. So here we are with everything completely done, minus the actual candle itself. And so this year, because I haven't filled it completely up, I'm not gonna be putting in um, my twinkly battery light pack, but this is what we have so far and I really like what it's looking like. Super cute. And let's get the candle inserted. So now I've already just gone through and placed my glasses. And then I'm going to take my chargers and I'm gonna take my plates and then I'm just gonna put those on the table. Pretty simple, this stuff all has come from either Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree. All right, so I've already gone through and placed my chargers. And I know they look literally the same color, but I promise you guys, this one has some pretty cute wooden detail on the end with some browns. And then my runner, as you can see, has some beautiful gold flecks and silver flecks inside of it. So let's add our napkins and my last decorative ornament. To the table. So here's the finished product. What I ended up doing was going back through and instead this time of actually putting the napkin itself on the top I went and put it underneath my plate. So I put it in between the plate and the charger and these are my cute little decorations. Pretty simple. I just love how cute they are and the detail that they have on them. The little cute glitter sprinkles and everything. I think it just ties in pretty well with the glitter and everything that's included on my runner. And I never put silverware on the kids' table because, I mean, there's enough things that they have to take off as it is anyway before they eat. So this is it. My simple, easy DIY Christmas tablescape in the kids' breakfast nook. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed actually um, learning and seeing how easy it is to create something like this in your own home. If my kids were here, I would have had them help me 
and the process would have been a little bit faster, but this is something you easily can do with your kids at home also. For my ornaments, I use um, the shatterproof ones on the top and then the ones at the bottom, the blue ones, these are actually glass ornaments that I picked up by mistake. But I put those at the bottom just so I wouldn't have any issues with them breaking. Comment below if this is something you guys are gonna try at home and tell me if these things are actually helpful to you in your decorating journey in your own home. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to reach out to me on any of my social medias, you can follow me at LA Inspires or you can head over to my website, which is www.lifeoflaw.net.